but that was surprisingly easy. Now let's go back and make a prawn. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Every time I dock, the far flow just like drains a load of power, but it keeps it charged and minimizes the risk of me, um, you know, drowning. Headlamp. Oh wow, that is actually remarkably cheap, and I do actually have an ion battery that I just put into my torch, but I don't mind using it for this. Headlamp. I'm really hoping this isn't mutually exclusive. The comes with an advanced weather resistance strap that can withstand volcanic heat or a nice age blizzard. A perpetual, hands free light source in even the darkest environments. Okay. Oh, that is so stupid. I mean, it's hands free and that's good, but it's also perpetual, so it doesn't actually run out, doesn't need recharging. But the fact that it is mutually exclusive with the thing that allows you to breathe underwater properly, that is frustrating. Still, it's useful for when I'm exploring anywhere that isn't cold or underwater, which... Which is virtually nowhere. Enameled glass and a plastic lingot. I'm depleting basically all of my supplies to make these. Uh, like I'm all out of quartz now, but I do have a massive thing of quartz right below. So I can now make the prawn suit and let's get enough for the drill arm as well. Upgrades. Drill arm, grapple arm, jump jet, nickel for that damn. Uh, depth module, rubies and synthetic fibers, I'm also going to need a diamond for that. But there is no point in me making that yet, because I'm out of glass. So, let us make a midnight prawn. <laughs> Sounds like a, a very unhealthy midnight snack. Prawn suit. Look at that. Delicious prawn. Mmm. Tasty. I better catch it before it sinks. Come back. Come back. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's just going deeper and deeper. I, f I regret doing this. At least I have the light on. Passing 100 meters. Oh, yeah. Efficiency decreased. That's a problem. Oh, fuck. Sorry, you scared the crap out of me with that voice. So I've got punchy, punchy arms. Alright. We have a basic jet booster. I mean, I say basic, that's pretty, pretty comprehensive as a jet booster. Uh, what else we got? Speed boost, vertical thrust, speed boost. Wow. Actually not bad maneuverability. I should have made the arm before I came out here. I didn't. Um, Alright, what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to get the far flow out of there so I can get this in there and I can name it. And colour it something cool. I noticed that my headlamp works even when I'm in this. That has suddenly made it a lot better. Okay. Funny how you get out of this side of the prawn. Oh, so that's where the upgrades go, so I can have four upgrades, it looks like. I can swap out the arms of the prawn suit. Let's give it a name and a, and a, a colour. May I present, for your viewing pleasure and inevitable judgement, the Crypto Knight. And how do I swap his arms out? Do I have to do that underwater? The Crypto Knight is the preferred weapon of choice for the Crypto Queen. Queen, Queen of the uh, cri Cryptos. How do I? Ah, that, that's how I do it. Okay. Look at that drill arm. Don't you just want to just kiss it? Mm. Uh, also, I couldn't get the gold quite right. Like, for some reason, any color you put as a stripe on this one is just weirdly dark. That wasn't the case on this one. It's really bright on that. But it's just weirdly dark on this. I couldn't do anything. I tried swatch swapping it around so it was like gold with blue, but again the blue was dark, and the uh, the gold just looked ostentatious. So let's just go over to here and drill, drill that quartz. So it smashes it off, adds it to storage. 
Uh, I don't know how much storage this thing has. Oh, wow. So unlike other ones, you can actually use your... Um... Oh, no, you could do that anyway. You just can't use things in it. Right. Um, how much storage does this thing have? It's on the back. Fair bit of storage, but you can get a storage upgrade for it as well, I noticed. There we are. A full, massive thing of quartz has provided me with the colossal quantity of a fair bloody bit of quartz. So, oh, look at that light. The Crypto Knight in the light of... L light. Let's get a shot of this. Hang on. You're in the way, sea truck Far flow. That was what you called. <laughs> Beautiful. You can get some nice shots with the prawn suit. I do think it's a weird looking thing and I still don't like that it's called the prawn. It's like sea moth cyclops prawn. I also have enough left over to make a laser cutter. So we are making leaps and bounds today. Hmm. I have just realized I don't know that I can actually move this thing. Like, unless I walk it, I... I think I saw a thing. I think it was the docking module allows you to, to attach a prawn suit. I don't have that. So I might look up where to find that now that I've started looking stuff up. I don't want to make a habit of it. I promise I'm not going to, but... Um, but I think I'm going to look this up. All right, the place I find it is a place I don't particularly want to go, but I'm going to go there. I looked something else up. Like, I, I'm not going to make a habit of it. I'm, I'm only looking up things that I am absolutely stuck on. And one is the high-capacity tank. Because at this point, it's become a severe problem that I can breathe for, like, 70 seconds or whatever it is. It's not long. It's not enough, really. And as I have unlocked the ultra high capacity tank, I feel like I should have unlocked the high capacity tank. Where am I going? Entirely the wrong way. Apparently, the high capacity tank is in that area with the bridges, which is called Twisty Bridges, I think. So that is, um, apparently I missed it there. So I will just have to go back and find it. And I'm a bit miffed that I missed it. Where am I? I'm lost. Apparently it's around here somewhere. Like, I know it's in this biome. Apparently it's a depth of about 120 meters. So if I stick around this height and just look around, I should be able to find it. Aha! Is that a window? Was there a window bloody here and I didn't bloody, 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 bloody find it? Window. Oh my god. How did I miss this? It's just a window here the entire bloody time. High capacity oxygen tank. Yay. New blueprint synthesized. Builder fragment. Yay. Filtered water. Who built this and why? There's a fabricator here, but there's no power. Can I not? Is that a window as well? Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess this is saying, hey, did you know you can build windows on the ends of them and on the sides of them to make it look pretty? Yeah, thank you. Bloody windows. That explains why... Okay, I take back my uh, complaint about it being absurd how late you get windows and instead I will change it to it's absurd how weirdly they hide windows like how did I miss that I've already I've lost it already it's gone where is it there how it's a weird out of the way place look I'm I'm miffed about that I'm miffed that it's taken me like 12 videos 13 14 videos I don't know how many videos it's been more than 12 like 14 videos to find a window right i'm gonna go back i'm gonna make an oxygen tank i'm gonna try and upgrade the oxygen tank and i'm gonna make some windows like i found that place because that was like lit up and near things and obvious but just a little like an eye corridor sorry i'm miffed i mean i suppose you can build can you can you just have like an eye an eye 
corridor with like a, a light on it or something to fabricate and refill your oxygen? Is that a thing you can do? I've never done that in Subnautica. That feels like a tryhard thing to do. People who worked here were tryhards. Windows. Bizarre. Right, can I put windows in here? I can. I can see virtually nothing out of that window. Oh, can I put a... No, of course not. That would be silly. Window here. Oh, I can see slightly more out of that one. Window here. Yeah, that's not a very good view. Window here. Also not a good view, but not because of buildings. It's just... You just can't see anything. Do windows have, like, that slight glare in one? I don't remember it. I'm not sure I like that. It's just so dark out there. Feels like a space station, but it's... It's definitely not a space station. Yeah. Well, that's better because I can see the floor, but it's still... Just dark and featureless. I knew there was some around here somewhere. Oh! Copper! High capacity oxygen tank! About time I got to this upgrade! So how long does that let me breathe? I feel I should use it once before immediately upgrading it, if I can afford that. It lets me breathe for... 132 seconds. Or 135, one or the other, but still very good. And in the modification station, the high capacity tank and full lithium increases it even more to... Oh, look at that filling up. Oh, it even tells me. 180 seconds. Three minutes up from just over one. That is pretty good. And the next addition is because I've decided I want to keep the prawn in there, the Crypto Knight. And what I will do is I will put a sea truck dock. That is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, I thought that was going to be something I could just stick diagonally on here, but that is not going to fly. Instead, that's going to have to go bloody there. That is huge and very ugly. This really feels like a last minute addition to this. Okay. Wow. What is that noise? Oh, hell. No, that's bad. That is that's that's pretty bad. Pretty 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 de deconstruct. Sure. Yeah, I better um. I better get in there. Um. Yeah. Okay. It is actually filling up in here as well. Okay, it's filling up still. Uh, so that means there are leaks. There we are. Are we are we good? I saw one upstairs. And plies were not good. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay. There's half a door there. Don't worry about that. Oh, that's upstairs. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Whew. It is a really cool thing, the way it floods. And I've got some amazing screenshots from my Jelly Shroom cave, uh, where the water is tinted purple, uh, sorry, pink, because of the lighting. And I just got flooded with pink water, and it was really, really pretty. Um, kind of scary, but really pretty. Right, so that's because I don't have enough structural integrity for a massive bloody thing. I thought it was just going to be a small bloody thing. It is very clearly not. So let's put on some... Uh, reinforcements. Lithium, not lead. Good, because I don't have the lead to spare. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. You can use it to see wh whether you want a window or a reinforcement. Okay, let's have some windows. Put a window there. Now that. Oh, that's why I built it here, so I'd have this stuff right outside the window. I remember now. Oh, there's more glass over there. Good. Uh, the advantage is, you can put these literally anywhere, so I can, like, I don't, I'm, I'm unlikely to need to see out this, this side, so put this here, and it will protect it, so if you have, like, a really long corridor, you can just use it, oh, wow, my structural integrity is very low, uh, but yeah, you can just 
could put stuff basically anywhere as long as it's on one of these and it works for the entire thing. So let's go back and finish. Do I still have that glass? I don't have the glass. I think the glass was the one thing I just took off there, so I'm going to need to get some more. Okay, don't break everything again, please. All right, minus five. Good. Good, 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 good. In we go into the sea truck dock. It's a really long, stupid looking thing that is bigger than my entire base. How stupid. Do, 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 do. Hey. Oh, that's cool. It like disengages the, the front and then defloods it very quickly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look, is he? Oh, that's the use of the door. So I can. Okay, no animation. That's a bit. Could have been better. Yeah, because this is quite a late addition. Like, this was added a month ago, and the game's been out for like two years. So that, you know, that tells you that they. Oh, that's quite pretty. That tells you that it wasn't like planned from the beginning. That's why it wasn't integrated particularly well, and why there is evidently no animation on that. Oh, wow, you can change it here as well. And it shows you with cameras. That's pretty cool. And I expect I can possibly... No, I can't because that's not a thing. Right. But yeah. Um, cool. I wanted it to come out diagonally here, you see. But that's when I thought it would be um, smaller than massive. Oh, wow, there's tons of quartz around here. Admittedly, it's part of why I built my base here. There is, there's... I'm fairly sure I've seen a titanium one. There's at least one copper one. And tons of quartz, and quartz is always one of those awkward things that you need for glass, but it's just like a bit bitty to find. Hi! Well, that's creepy. Are there more of you around? Oh! I swear he just got closer. Stop coming closer! Yeah! Give me my space, please. I mean, I know I'm literally walking a giant, punching, drilling monstrosity, making a lot of noise. He's going away into your breeding ground, but you know, give me space. It's really quite a piddly little sea base, isn't it? Oh, oh wow, that seems to be a bit of a glitch. If you go sideways, you move considerably faster. Look at that. That's one to remember. Another window there, and another window there. Nice. I think that's the one I punched. It's not like they're vengeful. Oh no, they're perfectly peaceful creatures. A window here. See my lovely... Why is there water rushing past? Why does it do this occasionally? Like, I remember seeing this before. Like, water just seems to rush in directions occasionally. Do you get, like, city-wide currents like that? I don't think you do. City-wide? City-wide? What the hell? Sorry, I've been thinking about D&D too much. And a big window, I was going to say mirror, big window here. What is wrong with my brain? Ah! Alright, let us go. It's very dark out there, but that's okay. Alright. So does it just push me out? Yes, it does. Alright. So we are headed to the downed ship so that I can laser open the doors and which direction is it? Delta Dock. Yes, it's past Delta. So I can laser open the doors and find the things I need for the test override module. Alright, there is actually something else I'm here for. Um, I don't like this place. I need to try and differentiate between the roaring sounds. Because there's one roaring sound and that's not a problem. It's any other roaring sounds that become a problem. Like that one! Oh my god! Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let's go away from that direction. It's seen me, seen me. It's going for the crypto and it's killed it because they're made of paper. Okie dokie 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 Hide down here and cry. There is no benefit to me hiding down here and crying. There's no benefit. It doesn't comfort me because I'm still in a hole crying. Okay. I'm 
was over there. I think. Oh, I should have looked on the compass where it bloody was. I've lost it. Where am I? That's north. Which way am I trying to go? I'm completely lost now. Hide in a hole and try and find the Delta Island. Where is that? Delta's over there. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, God, that's completely thrown me off now. I mean, they didn't see me, I think. That doesn't look like the right way at all. Okay, here's... Yeah, I think here is where I saw it. Don't do that. Do I want to go down here? Yes? Crashfish. I don't know if I want to... I, I'm so lost. Like, that really... Like, it didn't freak me, but it, it messed me. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we'll turn around and go back the way I came. Go back the way I came, because I don't see it, and I don't want to not see it. <laughs> it's over that way? No, that's a crypto. Oh, it... Uh, it's around here somewhere. I can bloody hear it. It's so big. It doesn't have the, I see it and immediately, you know, lose everything that's in my stomach, terrifying that the Reapers do. Well, that's a crypto. It's around here somewhere. It's very aggressive. There it is, the ship. I decided to abandon the other thing I was searching for because... <laughs> no. No. No, that thing um, spooked me. But I should be so much better off this time because I've got like three times. Actually, I think I, I miscalculated. I think you start off with like 95 and then it goes up in 45 second segments. So I think I've got double. Double. Yep, stop playing with it and start cutting. I've got like double the uh, the air capacity that I had last time I was here. Wait, that's a much higher. I thought it was 180 seconds. Oh, it's 180 seconds in addition to what I can breathe. And there are oxygen plants down here. Inexplicably, but helpfully. Better not be monsters. If there are monsters in here, I will be displeased with reality. Reality displeases me. I mean, there's prey in here, so I, it would make sense. Like some some sort of little symbiote thingy. Lots of oxygen plants. Thing I oh yeah, metal salvage. I saw this room. Food and water. I think I'm better off if I just cut every door I find. Oh, can I not cut it from this side? No, that would be absurd. Who would cut a door from the wrong side? A monster. That's who. Wiring kit. Weird that that survived, but okay. Oh yeah, there was also a thing I need to cut back at- Oh, a sealed door. What kind of door is this? There was a sealed chest back in uh, Copa. What's that? Parallel processing unit. One of three. Great. Back at the Copa. Copa Jinx Banner. These creepy spine fish. Oh, I'm back here. How did I get here? Was that just open? Yes, I guess it was. Boom. I'm glad it's really safe to just drive through those. Is that the one? No, that's a different one. Did I say drive? I meant swim. Ah, sealed one. And I'm very glad I brought spare batteries, because... Reactor rod. I don't like the sound that made when I picked it up. Used to power nuclear reactors. I have never built a nuclear reactor in Subnautica. Like, the bio one is easily enough for anything you may need. These spine fish, like, they're fine when you get used to their appearance. But they're also so much nicer than the weird, terrifying crab monsters that were in, um... In, like, the Aurora. Oh. Mercury 2, Thruster Repair, Stephanos. Oh, intrude events. So, how did you get around the Mercury 2? Intrude events. Ha ha ha! Uh. Walk 
Okay. Uh, PDA. Glowing picnic. Titanium ingot. How much space? No, check. shush. We shush, 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 shush. Just checking my inventory. Don't, don't tell me a live story. Haven't seen any more parallel ports. None at all. Can I cut this door? No, of course, silly. Wrong side of the door. Stupid me. Can I just not cut this one? Weird that there are some doors you can and some doors you can't cut. Like, why can I not cut that one? I could cut that one. That was fine. But no, oh, it would be rude to cut that one. Yeah, I'm fairly sure I've searched this place completely now. And I have not found any more of those parallel processing fragments. Aha! That one wasn't even sealed. Another uncuttable door. Yep. Yep, and another. Don't put doors in if they're not cuttable. That's just sending me very mixed signals, you know? After searching for bloody ages, I eventually looked it up. Uh, I'm fairly sure it's not exactly completely clear on the wiki. I think only two of the fragments are here, so there is apparently another part of the ship somewhere which has the third fragment, and that is just a dick move design-wise, because if you're going to put two out of three of something in a location, it's not implausible to think that there are going to be all three here. Like, if there was just one here, I'd think, yeah, maybe there are, like, in other locations. But two out of three makes it feel like I missed something. That's interesting. In one of these uh, logs, uh, talk about the, the worms, they walked to avoid angering them. So walking uh, doesn't set them off. That's something I'll try. Hmm. Well, that's, um... That's the, the big guy. I'm just going to save that to Steam. Yeah. Imagine if I, like, close the PDA and he's just staring at me now. God, that would, <laughs> that would be terrifying. How am I doing on space? All right. Um, right. I'm going to head back, drop off the stuff I picked up, like batteries and recharge and so on. And then I'm going to try again to go to that place that I tried to go to before I got scared off. Actually, while I'm here, I will pick up some of this salvage. Because it serves no purpose other than turning into titanium. So I may as well pick up everything I can. Right, that was it. That sea truck dock is stupidly huge. I mean, I guess it's to fit, like, I don't know what, four modules on there? But still, that is... that is silly. Oh, I could have used the mineral detector. Yeah, I probably could use the mineral detector to try and find those bloody fragments. Damn, forgot about that. Oh, hello. What, uh, what you, what you doing? Drifting about? Oh, you've seen me, have you? You creepy bloody thing. Yeah, it's a window. It's magic, so you tap, tap, tap. So you can't reach me with your creepy tentacles. You just can just stare at me with your creepy eye instead. You're very creepy. Did I mention that? But that is enough for today. I'll be back with more soon. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.